Bill Hunt and I have been friends for a long time. It's hard to be involved in photography in the last 25, 30 years and not cross paths with him. I was lucky to do it quite early in my career and we have continued, I think, a single conversation that just goes on and on and occurs in lots of different places um, over the last many years of our friendship. Um, I've known about this collection for a long time. I've admired it. I've seen other iterations of it on walls in other places. I can say without prejudice that this is the best looking installation of this collection. Well, you're in for a treat. He's a good talker, and uh, please join me now in welcoming W.M. Hunt to Eastman House. I want to talk about uh, the eye in the unseen eye. There are many eyes in the unseen eye, and I can think of three right away. The first eye would be literally the fact that you can't see the eyes. So that's the deal on this collection. Magical, heart-stopping images of people no eyes, people want to know why. The reason why is because of the voices. I got I know, some, go buy a photograph with no eyes in it. <laughs> okay, I better do them a cash, cash check, what do I do? Uh, the voice at no point said, go buy 1,500 of them. <laughs> anyway, so. That's the unseen eye, and this has always been a wonderful way to collect. It's always been dynamic. It's been a way of looking that was energized and specific and exciting. Okay, that's one eye, the unseen eye. And I just don't come running up to me and say like, you know, I'm looking at this picture and I can see his eyes. Yeah, I get that again. <laughs> People, a lot of cops in this world. Here's another eye. It's the, there's this intuitive eye. So what's a, how does a collector find photographs? I maintain that the, the, uh, the photographs find the collector. That once you're really humming and you got this thing going, these things show up. And it's the damnedest thing. You walk into a place and go like, there it is. Uh, that is so. Exciting. It's like it was meant to be. There are a lot of the artists that are in the collection, and in those instances, they were like in your path. And they go like, I got this picture for you. And you go, it's great. I think the pleasure of exhibiting the collection, I usually describe installing the show as the most fun I can have with my clothes on which is really true. It's just really so cool to sit there telling all these 20-year-olds where to put them. And, but it's this weird memory lane that you're like going down. And, and I hope for you that you don't need to know anything about me. I, I'll go in and look at people look at the show. I've seen the show, but I like looking at people look at the show. Because if you walk in there and one picture like floats your boat for a little bit and kind of takes you someplace that maybe you hadn't been a moment before. I think that's so wonderful and so exceptional. Uh, I do want to thank the George Eastman House. This has been really, really just lovely, lovely, lovely.